So in this blogging basics session, we're going to talk about how to hyperlink. We're going to talk about how you make a hyperlink and we're going to use Ning, which is what we use in my classroom as an example, how you decide what to hyperlink and the two basic kinds, the contextual link and the full URL and a checklist for hyperlinking. So what is a hyperlink? Um, it means that you are putting in uh, a link to another location or file and usually a lot of times that word will be underlined and you can kind of tell it's a hyperlink um, sometimes it can be an image um, and you'll link it the verb is to create a hyperlink so we're going to be creating hyperlinks in our blog posts and good good hyperlinks always have uh, good blog posts always have hyperlinks so now i'm going to make a hyperlink and um, usually i'll write everything i'm going to write and then make a hyperlink so i'm going to highlight westwood schools this is going to be my, what we call contextual hyperlink. And I'm going to click the link button and type in www.westwoodschools.org and click OK. And now this is a hyperlink. Now I can look at it in the HTML editor and you'll see that it's put this HTML in here, Ahref. We actually will type that in by hand when we do it by hand. And then uh, I go to visual and you can see that that'll work. Now I'm going to scroll down here and I'm clicking publish post. And now I'm going to have a nice little publish post. And you can see it's a hyperlink. Now one thing I use to test it is I'll actually right click and say open link in new tab. That way I'm still on the screen. And we have just made a hyperlink. That's how you do it. I gave you, I actually typed in the website address, but some people wonder, where does the website address come from? And we also call it URL, Uniform Resource Locator. So I'm going to click this plus right over here, make a new tab, or it used to be a plus, not more. And I'm going to type in um, Westwood Schools Blog. And let's see if we can find the Westwood um, Schools Blog. And I'm going to say Blog Spot because I know it's there. And I'm going to click here, and now I have my blog here. And up at the top, this is the URL or the address bar. Now, remember, it's an Omni search bar, which means I can actually search in this box, this Omni box, but I can also type in an address or get the address from here. So if I just double click, it's going to highlight the whole thing. And I'm going to right click and copy um, this address, this URL from the top. I'm going to click here on West on um, back on our post and I'm going to say our blog highlight click link and paste in the URL. There you go. The first kind of hyperlink that we use quite a bit is called the contextual hyperlink and this is off of something I wrote today on my blog. Um, you can see that the word Apple TV, our Chromecast, um, all of these words are a contextual hyperlink. So um, actually have the words here and have them in context. You have to be real careful not to overuse, um, have too many. Just pick out the important words or the proper nouns the first time they're used, if they're part of the topic, and that's what you hyperlink. Now, this is an example of what we call a URL reference, and this is from a wiki page. And you can put in these little footnote references using the ref tag in, in the, a wiki. And then you'll see that the full URL is at the bottom. Now, this is important when you um, use it for uh, printing or for academic citations. You do want to put that full URL there at the bottom. So let's go over a checklist. This is taken from my book, Reinventing Writing, on page 234 um, about how to make sure that you should have hyperlinks. So first of all, hyperlinks should be contextual, and we've already talked about what that means. Hyperlinks should emphasize the important words. Is that word important to your topic? Um, hyperlink it the first time it occurs to a good resource, and that's really important. Don't just hyperlink to anything. Hyperlink to good resource. Do eliminate distracting hyperlinks. If I've seen some kids write uh, whole paragraphs and hyperlink almost every single word, and you need to decide what's the most important and guide the reader. Uh, and if it's distracting, get rid of it. Um, use hyperlinks very often for proper nouns. And if it is central to the discussion, then you definitely want to hyperlink. Um, and if it's a person who's living or alive that you're quoting, I think it's just good manners or good netiquette to link to that person. 
Do watch out for dead text. Dead text means there's no hyperlinks at all. Um, and it's a dead giveaway the author hasn't researched and cited sources. So for example, if a student says, the research says such and such, and the research is not hyperlinked, then I know that they haven't done their research or they haven't given me the information that we need. It should be aesthetically pleasing, and when you have whole big groups of dead text, it can make it hard to read. Um, we don't say to find out more, click here, unless the person's really a beginner. Um, and sometimes you'll use it, but that's pretty rare. And then do link to a good source. So we've covered how you make a hyperlink, how you decide what to hyperlink, and the difference between a contextual link and a full URL, and a checklist for hyperlinking.